RX7, everything you need to know. Hello and welcome back to MIA Luxury Cars. For today's video, we will be going to talk about the RX7, everything you need to know. Let's get started. This will get you up to speed on anything Mazda RX-7 related. A discussion of the RX-7 would be incomplete without mentioning its engine, a rotary engine from Wankel. Foam free. What is a Wankel rotary engine? A rotary engine operates on the geometric theory of internally scribed triangles. The rotary engine operates on the geometric idea of triangles encircling an epitrochoid shape. Huge words to express the mildly hyptonic movement of a triangle confined within an occult oval. The triangle piston revolves, dividing the compartment into three spaces. As the triangle spins, phases of combustion develop around the exterior of it. German engineer Felix Wankel invented the rotary engine when he was just a teenager. Waited until after World War II when he was employed by the motorcycle manufacturer, NSU, Nebraska State University, to begin marketing the engine. A group of engineers and executives from the global automobile mobile industry were invited by NSU to see Wankel's rotary engine in 1959. One of the men was Matsuda, the head of what was formerly known as Toyo Kogyo, which had gained its money by building vehicles under the Mazda Go brand later on. Loved the Wankel Matsuda. He obtained a license from NSU right away and transported the prototype to Japan. He basically stacked everything on the engine, and in 1961, he instructed his top engineer that it must be dependable and ready for production as quickly as feasible. The prototype's motor stopped operating after the first hour of operation. It blew itself up after a few days. Yamamoto had underestimated how difficult his task would be. The triangular tips pistons were the main source of issue. It left chattering wear marks on the chamber's interior as it whirled around. They were known as devil's nail marks by the crew. They only managed to fix the issue after Yamamoto experienced an epiphanic moment while writing. Apex seals were made using graphite from pencil leads. RX-7 folks, you're familiar with the term. Additionally, they prevented the rotor from chattering as it moved around the chamber. After 80 prototype vehicles, Mazda finally debuted the Cosmo Sport 110 in 1967, their first ever rotary sports vehicle. Up until the petroleum crisis, Mazda's rotary lineup, including the Cosmo, sold incredibly well. The markets had sufficiently stabilized by 1978 for them to introduce their new rotary sports car. The RX-7, also known as the Savannah in Japan, was designed to be the RX-3 series direct replacement. All of the other rotary cars, aside from the Cosmo, were ultimately subtly replaced by the RX-7. 1977 saw the end of all else for Mazda. It was inspired by the Lotus Elan and the first series referred to as the SA because of the beginning of the VIN series. It was a light two-seat coupe. Since the Wankel 12A engine was mounted only slightly behind the front axle, Mazda dubbed it front mid-shift rear drive. As a result, the car had a low center of gravity and even distribution of weight. Although the engine was undoubtedly small, it had a powerful punch. The RX-7 had a 0-60 to time of 9.2 seconds and a top speed of 100 mph at 6,000 rpm. 
p.m. The rotary engine required to be driven to the red line on a more frequent basis than a typical reciprocating engine in order to remove the carbon buildup and maintain the oil at the proper temperature and viscosity. Mazda actually advises pushing the engine all the way to the red line. What young person from the 1970s and 1980s would not follow a car with pop-up headlights? The FB name was given to the second and third series of RX-7s when they were introduced in the United States. The 1.3-liter 13B engine first appeared in the Series 3 of vehicles. The RX-7 was already starting to become popular among club racers. It was light and swift. It also handled superbly, as long as there was petrol in the tank because it would spin if there was no fuel. The RX-7 underwent a makeover from Mazda in 1985. This time, they were inspired by the Porsche 944 and the FC RX-7s, resembled touring car more than the original pure sports car. The 13B DEI engine was a standard feature of the Series 4, manufactured between 1986 and 1988. 189 horsepower is available in the turbo variant. Mazda also made a switch to rack and pinion steering in the end. This significantly reduced what may be kindly described as its propensity to oversteer. It also replaced the cumbersome drum brakes with the disc brakes and the Series 5 slightly increased the horsepower to 160 and then after the Turbo 2 was introduced to 200. The Turbo 2 won a spot on the list of the top 10 cars by car and driver and the FC was named Motor Trends Import Car of the Year in 1986. The best RX-7, however, was yet to come. Even with the addition of a convertible top, Mazda introduced the futuristic-looking third-generation series 6RX-7 in 1992. It finally embraced its sports car status and used a 13B REW sequential twin-turbo engine as standard equipment. The twin turbos, which were jointly designed by Hitachi, provided a smooth acceleration. The first turbo provided more torque at low RPMs which was a problem for the rotary engine in the past and run between 1,800 and 4,000 revolutions per minute RPM. As soon as it reached 4,000, the second went into standby with a real seamless transition taking place at 45,000. However, the worldwide community would have to be content with this final imported version, partly as a result of the 1990s. Japanese financial crisis. In 1996, Ford acquired a majority stake in Mazda. The Series 7 RX-7, which was soon after released, was only sold in Australia and Japan. With numerous enhancements, the Series 8 was only launched in Japan in its final incarnation. Improved intercooling, better radiators, updated lighting design, more comfy seats, and 17-inch wheels and more strength. Unfortunately, these weren't for us. In 2003, Mazda introduced the RX-8 and we acquired one. The RX-8 was a heavier, less sleek, and less powerful alternative to the iconic RX-7. According to many Mazda aficionados, the engine used less gasoline and produced less emissions, but at the extent of torque. Failing issues with the apex seals, and on some first-generation cars, the engine would completely fail. Even greater fuel economy was insufficient to shield the RX-8 from the 2008 financial crisis. 
and in 2012, it was retired. Even though it is no longer manufactured, the RX-7 has made a deep influence on the automotive industry and on all of us. In the endurance race known as the 24 Hours of Lehmann's, the RX-7 was always present, from its first, which was missed by a second in 1979, to its ultimate domination in 1991, with a recognizable 787B, one of the most exquisite vehicles to ever grace the racing circuit. For 10 years straight, the RX-7 dominated the IMSA GTO competition, 1982 through 1992 World Rally Championship, finishing the 12th position. Not bad for a vehicle with an engine that frequently backfires and burns through apex seals and is just 75% to size of a Corvette. Mazda teases us with rumors of new rotary engines or RX-7 models every few years, but they haven't yet given their vintage back. We can only hope that one day it will be efficient enough to meet new emissions regulations without sacrificing the old one spear joy what have you learned about our topic please let me know by leaving a comment below and if you enjoyed this video please press the like button turn on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this thank you for stopping by to watch see you in our next video